What time is it? It's science time! We're talking air pressure. Air pressure. So you're wondering, why does he have a bottle of water on the table? Well, we all know what happens when we turn this upside down, right? It pours out. You can do it, little bubbles. Well, that took forever to pour that out. But the question is, what if I attach this bottle to this handy dandy little contraption I have here? So this is like a, uh, a sleeve. Whoa. This sleeve actually has a hole in it so that when I connect these two bottles, the water can run from one bottle to the other bottle. So we're gonna connect those and then we're gonna turn it upside down and see what happens. All right, are you ready? Let's turn it upside down. What? We just saw the water pour down a second ago. So the question is, what's going on? We know there's a hole in the center, but why is the water not pouring through? It all has to do with air pressure. This bottle isn't actually empty. There's air inside. And you might be wondering, how do we get the water from the top? Well, I'm gonna tell you how we do that. <laughs> it's pretty simple. We're gonna give it a little spin and watch what happens. That is pretty amazing. Oh, it looks just like a tornado. It looks just like a tornado. All right, that is super cool. And you're probably wondering, well, how does that work? Well, when we're spinning it this time, what happens is we get the water spinning sort of like in a vortex. It's going like this. And what happens is the water is racing through the bottom of the hole and it's going like this. And basically it allows air to come up through the center of the vortex and it's exchanging. So air is coming up while the water is going down. And that's why when we just turn it over like this, nothing happens but when we spin it, it actually works. I brought along another one that has some oil in it. Now you can see that this oil is less dense than the water, and that's why it sits on top. We're going to spin this the same way to see if we can get it to create a vortex. All right, you ready? Let's give it a try. Oh, that is awesome. It's kind of gurgling a little bit. I think it's because the fluid is a lot thicker going through the center hole and it kind of prevents it from just racing through. But we can actually see the red tornado so we can see the difference in the water flowing. That's awesome. But you might be wondering, is there really air inside? Well, the answer is yes, because when we turn it over, it doesn't run out. And here in this one, I actually, it's a different size. We have smaller containers, but I put a little bit of dish soap in it to see what happens. Look at that, that is so cool. It's creating bubbles. And we know it's inside of bubbles air. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.